with RC Driver and we've got quite the surprise on the bench today. The new Ford GT from Traxxas. This is on the new Fortec 2.0 chassis and uh, they're not even in the stores yet. Uh, some of the hobby stores out there have a, uh, a sample on the shelf that you can see and then place your order. Uh, but we were lucky enough to uh, pull a few strings and know the right people and, uh, and get an early production unit right from the, the people in uh, Traxxas in, in, uh, in McKinney, Texas. And it arrived uh, this afternoon thanks to uh, UPS, our, uh, our wonderful UPS guy. He knows uh, we get all the toys. So I thought we'd uh, take a quick look what, what you get for uh, your $319 right now uh, is retail on this. So without further ado, we'll cut into it. Kind of a little bit of a official, unofficial unboxing maybe. And uh, let's start with the body. Uh, this is an unbelievable body for, for an RC car. Uh, whether you're a Ford fan or not, which I am obviously, uh, they did an unbelievable job with this. It's a three-piece body. They actually completely replicated the flying buttress design of the real car. Uh, it has red um, uh, translucent tail lights that are LED ready, uh, three-dimensional exhaust ports, the under underbody piece right here, fully licensed by Ford, so I mean it's just an unbelievable piece. Uh, liquid blue, liquid red, and liquid gray are the official Ford colors that they come in. Uh, no word yet if there will be a clear body available. I certainly hope so for those that want to do the matte black uh, special edition or yellow or silver or any other colors that the real car comes in. Underneath that beautiful body, the new Fortec 2.0 chassis. This is a uh, modular chassis, has front and rear uh, that disassemble easily with um, nice hex hardware, no Phillips screws here uh, for service. You need to take the differential out or anything like that. The shaft drive, uh, the good old Titan 12 turn uh, motor powers it, XL5 electronics, all waterproof. The steering servo, has the servo saver right on the snout, not down deep buried in the steering linkage where you can't get to it. Um, has some really great features. Uh, the battery tray here uh, has a ingenious little um, way of allowing uh, NIM and LiPo packs to coexist in the car without like Velcro straps that wear out or some sort of uh, spacer that you got to add. Simply Push this lever down, slide it out, lift it up. I per right now have it set for a NIM pack. Drop that in and slide it in place and you're done. If you want to do a LiPo, here's a new Traxxas ID 2S. Basically all you do is you rotate it and it drops right in. And the way it does that is the offset here and the offset at the pivot. So you easily use NIM or LiPo without any sort of major changes to the battery tray. Pretty, pretty nifty little idea. Um, currently has fixed links right on the box, which is good for all you bashers. I'm sure they'll be offering adjustable links. Anybody wants to go racing with this? Uh, the typical Valinian brushless will work. This is going to be going in this bad boy here soon. Um, the uh, uh, rear camber links, actually there is an upper position for them as well. Uh, Trax has actually put some this low to clear the body on the, on the Ford GT. And the same with the rear body mounts. You see how narrow they are. That's, again, because of the Ford GT body. In the box is a different set of mounts that are completely adjustable for width and height uh, and even a little fore and aft movement on them. So you can put any sort of body you want on this. Um, Great little car, we can't wait to stick a battery in it, go have some fun. Um, speaking of batteries, the, the, this is a uh, RTR, but uh, as a lot of RTRs are now going uh, due to uh, licensing costs and things of that nature, there is no battery and no charger included. Uh, for someone like myself that's got a stack of batteries and a nice charger, it's not, not a big problem. But if you're a first timer and this is gonna be your first car because you gotta have the Ford GT like I did, then you're going to need to get yourself a battery, uh, either a NIM or, or LiPo, whatever you're comfortable with, and a charger. 
Um, Traxxas just came out with uh, not too long ago with the Easy Peak Live. This actually has Bluetooth connectivity. So besides it being push one button and go with the with the ID connector, uh, with the uh, Bluetooth app, it allows you to go in and, and fine tune and do manual settings and all sorts of stuff um, once you get comfortable with that. So that's it. Uh, just a quick uh, unboxing and overview of the new car. Uh, it's going to be a fun ride. Can't wait to get a battery pack charged up and uh, take this thing down the street. And uh, I'm sure uh, at RC Driver here we'll be getting uh, we'll be getting some upgrades in it. Maybe a Valenium brushless system, uh, some aluminum suspension pieces, you know, that, those kind of goodies. And uh, and see what she's made out of. See what she can do. All right. Thanks for watching.